Yo, what's up guys? Tyler W here and today I'm here to teach you guys the hobble whistle, but better known as the bobbly or the Kalexi whistle. <laughs> Now this sound actually goes by multiple names. It's known as the extended water drop, the hollow whistle, the kalexi whistle, or the bobbly whistle. So let it be known that when I'm teaching any of those names, it's all the same sound. Now the reason why bobbly and kalexi are mentioned is because they actually use the sound a lot and are more known for using the sound. So I guess you could say they made the sound popular. Now I heard bobbly do it first like a long time ago when I first started beatboxing, but I have heard kalexi do it and it does sound really good. Yo, if you're new here, you should consider clicking that subscribe button down below because I upload a new beatboxing video every Thursday. I make dank tutorials like this all the time. Dank. I don't know. I'm just being like super weird right now. I think it's time to stop rambling and to get into teaching the sound. Before I begin actually trying to break the sound down to all of its steps, what I wanna do is first say that this sound takes a lot of breath to do. So let it be known that if you're gonna do this, you have to make sure you have your accompanying inward sound so you regain your breath if you're doing it in a beat. Also, if you're gonna be doing this on mic in a live performance, the sound may not come through as crisp as you think it would be because all the air that's coming out is going to distort it on mic. So the hobble whistle is actually made by comboing two sounds together. The first sound that you guys are gonna need to know in order to do this whistle is gonna be the holoclop, which sounds like now I'm not going to be teaching the holoclop here because I have a full tutorial for it. So what I want you guys to do, if you do not know it already, go check out my tutorial for it. The link will be in the description. There will be a card popping up right here, right here. I still am not sure what side it comes up on. Go learn it from that tutorial if you don't know it yet and then come back here. After you guys have either learned or you already know the holoclop, what you're going to combo that sound with is going to be the hollow whistle itself, which sounds like... So this whistle is actually a little different than normal whistles and it takes about three steps to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach that uh, right now. The first step to getting down the hollow whistle is gonna be your mouth positioning. In order to get this positioning, what you're gonna wanna do is drop your bottom jaw all the way down, if not all the way like this. After you guys drop your jaw, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna close the gap in your mouth. You're gonna tighten your cheeks in a little bit. So it's gonna go from to, this might come off as a little sexual or cringy, so uh, beware? So as a gauge of how much of a gap you should leave when doing the mouth positioning, I kind of, you know, realized that the top of a Sharpie or a marker is a very good reference. It, it's kind of like the perfect width. So when doing the sound, this should be able to fit snugly into that gap. I know it's a little weird to say it, but yeah. So to uh, demonstrate this weird concept, it kind of be like, Perfect. So once you got that beautiful mouth positioning down, the next step is gonna be, I guess, the breathing that you need to do to create this whistle. So I watched a few tutorials already on this sound. You know, I did my research and I figured out some people explain this as whispering. So the breathing that you need to do to get this sound is gonna be like the breathing you do when you whisper. I kind of like this explanation, so I'm gonna roll with it. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to whisper and be like, hello, hi, my name is Tyler W. You should subscribe or click the like button. But that's what I mean. So when you whisper, that's the kind of breath that should be coming out, the kind of air pressure that you should be using to create this whistle. So at this point, what you should be able to do is take the hollow clop and the first two steps of the hollow whistle, and you should be able to combo it to sound something like this. I'm getting lightheaded. Woo, be careful when learning this sound. You might get lightheaded. The third step to getting this whistle down is gonna be hollowing out your throat. You guys actually should already know how to hollow out your throat because you already know the hollow clop. So if you know the hollow clop and you know how to open up your throat and hollow it out, do the same concepts here. Hollowing out your throat has always been such a difficult concept to explain and you know, I've tried it in multiple of my tutorials, so I'm really not gonna go too into depth in it here. You know, I will explain it a little bit, but if you need any more help with it, I do talk more in depth with it in my hollow clop tutorial, in my liberal tutorial when I talk about, you know, the hollow liberals and when I do the OD base tutorial. So all those links will be in the description if you don't get it here, maybe I explain it better there I'm just not doing it right right now but you know go check those out and yeah very quickly, I'm gonna give a brief explanation on how to hollow out your throat. The main concept of this is gonna be opening up your throat because you wanna give the sounds more room to resonate. Now, you know, this can be explained in a couple different ways. I'm gonna kinda do my versions of it, but you know, it may not be the proper way to explain it. You can kinda arrive to this point in a couple different ways. The first way I try to explain it is, you know, dropping your voice into the lowest register when singing. So if you sing like, ah, uh, like your throat is gonna be still close a little bit, but if you go, ah, uh, like I feel my throat open up more 
more to create the lower tones. Now for guys too, your Adam's apple kind of drops naturally. So I guess you could think of it as your Adam's apple dropping too. I don't know if that helps at all, but that's another way to think about it. I guess the main concept is this portion of your throat right here. It's going to be kind of coming outwards more and it's going to be opening up your entire throat to create a hollow sound. If that didn't help, like I said, go check out my links in the description to my other tutorials. I kind of explain it the same way, but maybe a little bit more in depth. So all three sounds coming together look a little bit like this. One, mouth positioning, breathing out with a whisper, hollowing. You guys are freaking amazing, man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that hollow clop and we're gonna combo it with this whistle you just learned so we can give it more of a unique effect. So because you guys actually want a simple beat pattern, let's do it. So a neat little thing that you can do with this sound is you can actually combo it with a chest bass or with a vocal pop. So you could do either or you can do a So uh, that's about all there is to learning the hollow whistle, the collexi whistle, the bobbly whistle, or the extended water drop. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment down below. If you're having issues, comment down there because I want to help you guys out. I want you guys to get the sound. If this tutorial helped you guys learn the sound, click that like button. If there's somebody that wants to learn the sound, share this video with them. And you know, if you want to see a lot of beautiful tutorials like this, subscribe because I upload a new video every Thursday. And most, most of all, guys, I want you beautiful dubscribers and future dubscribers to have a good day. I burped in the middle of that. If you're watching this and this tutorial helped you learn the hollow whistle, or if you're a subscriber, click that like button. They call me Marcus Veltri.